Hey guys, Dan C. Bearded here today, and I am going to do a pretty extreme, drastic, big change kind of trim. And it's unlike any trim that I've ever done before. Maybe a little bit nervous. Rarely am I nervous when it comes to my beard and trimming. It's usually just on the bottom. Pretty simple. I've done it for years. As you can see here, I've got some areas that are driving me crazy. I've actually talked about them in a dedicated video recently when you have beard troubles and how to get away from them. This video may come as kind of like a contradiction in a way, I'll explain, but I also talked about it recently on a weight loss video. I've lost like 20 pounds, nothing like crazy, not like changing my life, just small changes, going to the gym more frequently, cutting back on candy, all that kind of stuff. And it's changed the way my face is shaped, literally. And with that have come some beard changes and I just can't do it anymore. I've tried styling, I've tried getting used to it. I mean, this has been weeks now where I've really kind of come to realization, I wanna try a change and it has to do with this area right here. If I leave it alone, it curls up and there's nothing wrong with that. It just doesn't really fit my style. And if I try to straighten it, I'm just getting just the ultimate battle going on. And some days it'll work, others it's like today I get these wings right? It's just not a good look for me. So I'm going to take some serious weight out of this section right here. I'm just going to kind of bring the beard in a little bit. Now, to be fully transparent and to be just completely open, there is a risk where I run where it gets too skinny here and it juts out. I don't want that. I want a pretty symmetrical beard as close as I can. I don't want to be too thin in this area here. So I'm going to try to do my best to remove the outliers while still maintaining a shape. Could this go wrong? Yes. You guys are going to be here with me. It is recording. I want to make sure it's all good. That would be heartbreaking to, to lose this one. So we're going to figure it out. If it goes wrong, hey, at least we got it on video. I'll learn from it and be able to teach it a better way in the future. But I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to go through my tools today. As always with these, it's not sponsored. It's not, no companies have a heads up, but people always want to know what I'm using. So I will be using two different combs. I'll be using this uh, little plastic cellulose acetate comb here. Good one. This one is from Beard Brand. Mainly use it for the, the little close together teeth right there. I will, of course, be using the Chicago comb number eight. From there, I will be using a clipper and a trimmer. Now, I may have to make a video if I haven't yet on the differences. This is fixed. It has a little T-blade on the end, and it's for very fine details and being very specific. This is not fixed. It can change how it goes up and down. This can add guards to it, but it's not as detailed. So I'm going to kind of figure out, not exactly sure where I'm going yet with this, but I will probably use both of these. This one for sure. And I brought a round brush just in case I need to work in that area a little bit more. Oh, and these are from Babyliss. It's their F FX line. And this uh, round brush is from, yeah, my hair in there, is from Volt Lifeproof Grooming. I think that's all the tools that I have today. And to not make this video too crazy long, I'm going to dive in. And again, my goal is to just take out, and I'm going to get some of this too here, guys. I'm going to take out some of this weight and just kind of bring it more together. And we'll see how it goes, you guys. And I'm going to dive in on your guys' side first. Even on trims like this where it's not comfortable, it's not something I'm used to, I recommend going in with confidence and no fear. Right? You can be nervous. You can have all those things. But once you're here, boom, make a choice, go with it, and you'll be good to go. All right, so again, my goal, I'm envisioning it. I'm taking off this portion here. I'm going to go small first and then come back in for more if I need. Good luck, guys. And if you notice, I am crossing over my body. Doesn't make for the best angles in the world, but it's a self-trim. And I'm not going to go in with my left hand unless I really need to or feel like, feel like that's a better option for me. And I'll be doing a lot of this, measuring, pulling, moving with my hands. Number one tool is going to be my hand. Okay, already looking better. And again, it's a fine line of dialing it in, but not taking away too much. And I am going to go in and touch up my mustache on these long guys. Okay. 
And I might leave more than I want to today. I might go in tomorrow. And trust me, I know this is not some of your preferences. This is not a video where I'm saying, which one do you guys think looks better? This is what I like. That's what I'm going with. I always get comments. I liked it better before. Awesome, man. I'm glad that you do. Sincerely, that's not even sarcasm. That's sincerely, I'm glad you like that look. This is just what I like. And so that's what really matters the most. The best beard you can have is the one that you enjoy. Okay. Now the guards would come in if I have to start kind of blending it to get to the sideburns. And there are three-way mirrors where you have a flat one and then they fold out on the sides. I don't like those ones as of right now. Who knows what the future will hold? But I cannot be coordinated enough to use those. This is more so my speed. Okay, so you can already see that difference. Look here. Look here right? No changes just other than the trim. Pretty simple. I'm going to come in and take the weight out of this side. I've actually wanted to do this trim for a very long time, but I've been nervous because I don't want to take away from the future like volume and balance of the beard. But I think it's time and I think that area that I'm attacking is simply just overgrowth and it's not going to take away from the balance. And I just have a little extra weight. I normally never touch the face of the beard. Okay, we're starting to take shape. It might be a mess, but that's okay. The beard going out there. Not bad. I don't feel like there's a massive like boom, boom, and the beard's just going crazy. I feel pretty good about it. Now, my styling likely will adjust over the next couple of days as well. I always recommend, guys, at least a three-day trim. Don't try to do it all today. Get to a spot you're good with. Restyle in the morning. Try it again tomorrow. And then assess on the third day to make any final changes. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a second while I take you guys through my mustache trim. So I do the lazy walrus. As you guys know, I get this out to the side. I kind of blend it into the beard. I can separate it from the beard by doing this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, But today, I'm going to show you how I trim that. I'm going to bring these guys forward just to see how in line they are. And for me, the mustache is that starts from the corner of the mouth and up. Those hairs specifically. All right. So what I'm going to do here is hopefully you'll be able to see, oh, got to add in another tool. These are my clip, my shears or my scissors. These ones are from the Luxurious Bastard. And if you see, I just got some, some overachievers that I'm going to kind of take care of. I'm not taking away from the weight, just the length. Beautiful. There are times where my mustache gets too long. It does impact even how I talk. I know that sounds crazy. I don't even know how guys do the full walrus over the, the mouth, but it'll impact and start to, I don't know, just change the way that my words come out. And I don't like that as someone who speaks for a living. <laughs> All right, now again, fingers, feel these out here. Got these little guys that like to curl over. We want to straighten them, get them back in line. And the main thing is my ends were getting a little bit crazy. So I want to make sure those are kind of balanced. And it's amazing, guys, by measuring with your fingers where you can really see the imbalance. And I know this breaks the heart of some of you guys. I'm sorry. This is what I like. I also take into consideration what my wife likes. Sam C just wants me to be happy and confident, but I like to think about her as well. Okay. All right. I don't want to get too crazy. I do have a little bit of a heavier spot right here. 
So I'll just kind of demonstrate what I do to figure that out. All right, so that feels like it would be a good amount of weight out. So I'm gonna put the three, I'm gonna go up just so I have a little bit of wiggle room. Perfect. I could probably go down a little bit more, but I actually like that. I'm gonna go with the three here. All right, see that side didn't need it as much. All right, I'm gonna bring this down. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go one, two down. All right, I'm gonna go all the way down actually. Beautiful. Okay. I'm liking that. I already feel better. Genuinely like, whew, got a little hair off there, but genuinely like, oh man, there's a weight lifted off my shoulder. I don't have to think about this. I could see myself going a little bit more here. This is where I should walk away, but for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna demonstrate just a little. Everything is small, everything is controlled. I like that a lot, you guys. I am very happy with it. Let me know down below your observations, your questions. Do you relate to this situation? I have a feeling many of you will. And I, again, I'll go in and update over the next couple of days, but woo, I like it. Stash looks good. You couldn't even tell that I took off a significant amount of hair in the sink here from the mustache, but it looks good, guys. Okay, look at that. I actually really like that angle now. That, Coming through night. Woo, big baby. Okay, awesome. Can't wait to read those comments. I'm glad this turned out well. Thank you guys, Dancy Bearded. Please stay bearded and stay positive.